Guys, in this video, we've got the new FTX tracker. This is a one temp scale, two speed portals, locking diffs. It's pretty expensive. It's gonna be FTX's flagship crawler. So let's hope it performs. <laughs> FTX, known for their wallet-friendly RCs, have brought out this tracker, which will cost you £450. That is pushing on pretty close to Traxxas money. Although I just spent £500 on a Tamiya. Lots of features on this, big 550 motor sat up front there, 25 kilo waterproof ESC, portal axles, all metal gears in it, oil shocks, two-speed gearbox, and much more. Let's get it out of the box. So it comes in two different colours. It comes in black and it comes in this nice cream colour. And I chose this cream coloured one because I really like the retro look of it with them decals. I think it's loosely based on a Series 1 Isuzu Trooper. In the box you get a set of instructions, a few little accessories by the looks of it in there. You get a Dumbo RC transmitter. These are really good, loads of range on them, all the functions you need. Steering trim, steering jewel rate, throttle trim, throttle jewel rate. Throw on steam in reverse. This one's a six channel, so you've got channel three there, you've got channel four up there, and then five and six on the top. And then this is the truck. And I must admit, it looks really, really nice. Oh, a nice engine. What's that, a V8? Snorkel for going underwater. The roof rack. That's not an actual light bar there, looks like one, but it's not one. But I guess that means you could fit a real one. Nice side step, nice ball bar on the front there with the side bars as well. Mud flaps, LV. fuel cans, ladder. Guys, this looks really nice. What I like are the clear windows. Not many RC companies give you clear windows like that. This hasn't got an interior, but I have some good news for you. Good news! And even if you've bought one of these, I think I've still got some good news for you. Good news! There is an interior coming for it. It should be here with me any day, but I'm going to a crawler course tomorrow, so I really wanted to get this out and take it with me. Anyway, by the end of this video, I should be able to show you the little interior that comes with it. If you've already bought one, I've been told by FTX that if you own one of these, you will also get sent the interior. Anyway, let's have a look underneath, shall we? Let's take the body off. So, Normal body pins, they are hidden underneath though. Whoa. There's all your lights under there. The lights have got a separate controller by the looks of things, which plugs into that. So four link suspension at the rear, three link at the front with a panard bar. We forgot to look at the tires. They feel nice, nice and grippy. We shall see. Just standard plastic wheels, not bead locks or anything. Plastic telescopic drive shafts. There's a nice size two speed gearbox in there. There's your portal axles. You can see bearings all around. These are locking diffs. Got your servos there and there for your front and rear locking diffs. There's your mini servo for your two-speed gearbox. There's your 550 motor there connected to the gearbox. That is a 25 kilo waterproof servo in there. Good step up. In the past, the FTXs have come with like 15 or 12 kilo servos. So it's nice to see a 25 kilo in there. I like the little engine cover. Oil shocks there, external reservoir maybe. Got a screw on it there where you could probably bleed them. Shocks feel pretty good. They're quite firm, but feel good and finally the ESC that is a 60 amp 1060 from Hobbywing right let's charge a battery up let's check the lights out and the control of it and then we're going to go and take it to a crawler course and give it a good old test so battery on there's your lights you've got front lights you've got rear lights and then when you're driving they go dimmer and then when you stop brake lights and you've also got some reverse lights although when you first touch reverse they flicker a bit and then they come on now you've also got turn signals. My issue usually with these is, as soon as you touch the steering, they come on. So when you're driving around trailing as normal and you maybe adjust the steering a little bit, the indicators just go left, right, left, right all the time. So these ones don't come on until you get past about 50%. So that means when you're just driving along normally, they're not gonna keep flicking on and off. So low speed with the diffs locked. Full throttle. Then press channel three. That puts you into high speed. <laughs> that's fast. Whoa, that's fast. Yeah, that's fast. So here we are at Springwoods RC. If you've not been here, 
I definitely recommend coming down here. I'll leave a link in the description with more information. Most of it's all down in there. There's one tenth scale and there's stuff for some small, the small scale stuff can get on some of the one tenth anyway. As we take the tracker down into there, you'll be able to get a better view of it. So as the interior is not turned up yet, Austin is our guest driver today. He's got experience with FTXs. You may have seen him in the Canyon video um, a few weeks back. So high speed with the diffs open, you can see it handles pretty well. Now we're going in to do some crawling. We'll lock the diffs up and get going. Get that drag brake work in. Nice. Oh, this looks slippery. Is it going to make it? Oh, no. Need some speed. There we go. Oh, I like your little lake. This looks very steep. So, second gear, no drag brake, I think. Oh, there is a drag brake in second gear. That looks tight along there. <laughs> Some dramatic music now. Nice. Only grip from the tyres. What a noisy transmission. Well, that's because yours is silent. It makes this one even louder. Definitely needs the body trimming or something to stop the tires rubbing on it. Oh, hello. I was just about to say that looks a bit technical and it moves. Whoa. Oh. No, it's a nudge underneath though, just a little nudge. There we go, thank you. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> Once it's gone, it's gone, isn't it? Wah. There we go. <laughs> Wah. More power, yeah. I accidentally turned the GoPro off and we made it. I might be lying, we didn't make it. But I forgot to start recording the GoPro. Anyway, we're back. It is a very long way down there. We don't want to be falling. Probably could do a little bit more lower down modulation. The low speed crawling is okay when it's flat, but it seems to be a little bit jerky just on takeoff. If I stop and then go, it's just a bit too much of playing the throttle. So not touching the throttle now, that is just all the truck on its own. Nice. Tires seem pretty grippy. They just rub on the body a bit too much. Ah! Saved by the foot. So the GoPro turned itself off <laughs> and you missed a dramatic roll all the way down the hill. Apparently it got too hot. Well, it means we've got to try it again. Here we go. No. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Landed on its wheels. The body's popped out from there and Austin has gone for a nap. So there we go. I am 
impressed as promised the interiors here we'll have a look at that in a minute now that short sort of running on the video was about 40 minutes of running around it rolled down the hill and fell off stuff loads of times there's a small amount of damage there these sidebars and this ball bar really protect it um, as well as the roof rack and stuff so the tires rubbing on the body i expect you could maybe just trim a little bit off of there to make it a little bit better or stiffen the suspension a bit very low down modulation it's absolutely fine there's no like massive issues with it it's the esc more than the gear in so first mod maybe for a little bit more control i'd maybe stick a 1080 hobby wing in there it's got a 1060 in but the 1080 is much more superior to that but as far as cost versus performance goes I didn't find anything on this that would make me think that it's not worth the money. It's got all the gear, it runs well. I might even upgrade this to like a hobby wing fusion or something. Um, and if I do that, I'm gonna pull this gearbox apart, probably put a bit more grease in it. It is a little bit noisy, but that might just be me being picked. So this is the interior. You get a little rear view mirror there. Don't know what that is. A bit rear view mirror and a little like cable holder there now looking at it you got holes along there and then inside here that's where your cables go so i'm presuming it just fits in there here's your driver his head turns a little bit of detail on the passenger seat and some nice dash details in there yes that is what i am talking about more rc manufacturers need to be put in or supplying interiors for their trucks that looks so much better it was a little bit more fiddly than i thought to get in but it's in there now and it looks so much better. Cheers for watching guys, I will see you next time.